Welcome back. Today I'm going to walk you through how I would plan a week in the Moms Manager Academic Planner from TF Publishing. I'll link my review to this planner below. It did start in July, which I don't need to worry about. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if the pen that I was planning to use is like truly awful. I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to thicken the downstrokes. So this is going to be a super simple week. So planning of just the pen week, which may actually be tough in a planner with thin pages. And I have a feeling that's not too bad. It's not terrible. I thought I might get like actual black spots on the other side of the page. Maybe a tiny bit like right there, but not too bad. So I think I can go ahead with this pen, which is a Pilot G2, 0.7. So that would be a medium-ish point. Oh, this is a Sunday to Saturday week. I did not even notice that. Hm, I am not used to that at all. That's fine. My, I have so little going on, you'll see. Doesn't really matter if I miss a day or don't double up a day. Jumping back and forth between planners, at least while the kids are gone. I have so little going on. It's not really like I need to be using a planner. The first thing I'll do is transfer over my to-do list because this past week has been absolutely sort of crazy with customer orders. I did make it to all my exercise classes and I did my wholesale research. So that's good, but I do have a few things. And now this is a totally unclassified list. It's just a one big running list. And I kind of always like my lists to be a little more categorized. So I'm gonna do this. So the only business to do that I'm going to write for this week, my wholesale marketing project and this week is really just to populate a spreadsheet that I started. The big thing I have to do at home is start meal planning because I haven't even really thought about that yet. For three months at a time, I make a plan for what I'm going to do for freezer meals and pantry meals. And it's really nice to get that all done and pull together in August before school starts and then once school starts, we're now starting after Labor Day, but once school starts, to have that in place really helps. The main thing I need to write down right now are just my exercise classes, which I've scribbled out on the post-it note, and a few work and home obligations. And that's about all I'm writing this week. I'd love to hear what you think about this planner in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe below. See you tomorrow.